Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron, and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'll be sharing with you how to believe it before you see it, and how at a fundamental core level we must first believe it before we will see any reflection of it. Now, I talk in many of my videos about the idea that our beliefs are creating the kind of experiences that we're having, and that when we get to the core of who we are and what we believe to be true, and we begin to change ourselves from the inside out, that's when we begin to see the changes that we want in our life. Now, when it comes to believing something and knowing that once we really believe it, we will begin to see it, we must first get to the fundamental core of what believing something to be true really means. Now let's look at the whole process in order to understand this of how we do it on autopilot already. Now when it comes to our beliefs, we go through reference experiences many times when we're young, when we have beliefs that have been perpetuated for a period of time. We have a reference experience and through this one experience, as we focus on the perspective from that experience, it continues to perpetuate similar events over and over again, and then that becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now we have many self-fulfilling prophecies of things we just believe to be true. Now when we become aware of what those are, that's the first step in gaining our power back. But let's also then realize that if we want to experience something on the external and we must first get to the core and what we believe to be true, it's about understanding that we must create the reference experiences from within ourselves. Now, this means a lot of times using visualization as a tool. This involves many times asking ourselves, what do I believe to be true? But the idea is that once we make it more real on the inside, then we will begin to see the reflection of it on the outside. Now they've shown many times in experiments that athletes that are hooked up to machines that are visualizing them doing something and as they make it more and more vivid, they begin to literally fire the same synaptic pathways in the brain. They begin to feel it to a point to where their brain doesn't know a difference between what they are imagining and what is actually happening. Now, the best part is that we can do the same exact thing. If you go through what is called mental rehearsal and you maybe have a belief that uh, you want to believe that money comes easily, that it's not so hard to become wealthy, that you can just do what you need to do to do so in a much more fluid way. Imagine what that is like. Imagine what it is like to live that way. Imagine the beliefs that you'd have to have about yourself, the self-image that you have. And as you begin to tap into these different characteristics, you'll start to feel something. And as you feel it, you're making it more real for yourself yourself. And if you close your eyes, immediately you start to go into deeper brainwave patterns and you are then priming yourself for that understanding. Now when you come out of that experience, the key is to just know that that is who you are now. That that is your new belief and then to become hyper aware of any thoughts that come into your head that are of the old belief. Become aware of all of those and as you do that, you keep reinserting what you believe believed to be true, and then you'll begin to let go of the old beliefs, you'll begin to let go of the old self-image, and you'll actually be who you prefer to be. So simply realize that you must first create the state of being within yourself, and then as you begin to tailor to that, you come out of it just simply knowing that that's who you are now, you'll begin to believe it more and more. Now I want to take a little bit to talk about action and why action is important with this process. Now when we take action, yes action can yield certain results, but realize that when you're taking action, you are reaffirming what you believe to be true. The idea behind this is that you will always take action if you really believe something to be true. And anything else is simply a block. So for example, if I believe that I can uh, grow 
with creating YouTube videos and grow a YouTube channel, a natural product of me doing that will be me taking action. And if I really didn't believe it to be true, I wouldn't be taking action because that would be in the block of what I would be doing. So realize that we must align our actions to our beliefs and that when we do that, we are making it a complete kit and we are then more likely to see the reflection because we're able to go about it in baby steps. Maybe when you first start taking action, the idea is that if you're intention is to maybe create more abundance in your life, maybe at first it's a little bit hard for you to see a whole bunch of abundance, but you're able to do it in baby steps. Maybe you're able to create something that makes a little bit of money, or you're able to get a job that pays you a certain amount. But as you begin to then tailor and see yourself, tailor your self image to who you prefer to be, you start to do it in increments to where it becomes believable in smaller steps. Maybe you can't believe right now that you could be making $150,000 a year next year, but if you were to first get a job making 50, and then maybe in a year or two net from now making 60 to 80, it, see, it gets easier in increments. Now, that's just an example, but the idea behind this is that as you take action, you're putting yourself into that state of being and you're more likely than to then see the reflection that you're looking for. So tailor your action to your belief, make it more real on the inside, and as you begin to do that, you begin to create memories in the present moment, you create future memories in the present moment, you start to anchor that into a part of who you are. The more you do it, the more evidence you give yourself on the inside, the more likely you are to then see it. So. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you guys on the next vid. Peace, much love, namaste. All right, bye.